Well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, well. Well, let me just say something to you. I've called my dad sometimes in the last, uh, let's see, since, uh, uh, since 99 till now, whatever. And, uh, you know, you'd be in Indonesia or India or over there where they, they kill you and kidnap you and they blow up hotels, you know. And they run a, a truck up in front of the hotel and then the fella kills himself and kills everybody around. I mean, that's where I used to live for about 12, 14 years. And I called him and, and said, hey, you know, they, they kidnapped us yesterday, but something happened. Or, or the police, uh, they see that you're a white guy and you're a foreigner and they come and pick you up for no reason because they want some bribe money or something. And uh, or I called him, and, you know, hey, pray for me, Dad, love you, I hope I see you again. So that's why he had that reaction. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I, I, I went to places, uh, I don't know, they, my, my friend said, hey, let, we're going here, we're going here, we're going here. I said, okay, great. So you get on a little plane, you get on a smaller plane, you get on a boat, you get on a four wheel drive, you get where you're going, and then you get on a motorcycle and get further out there. And, uh, you know, you're, you're three days away from help, and you get out there and they say, oh, by the way, the Muslims came through here and killed every man, woman, and child, even the babies, and burned everybody with fire and laughed. And laughed at it. And I said, oh, thanks, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And then they'd love to put your head on the wall, like a deer, you know, you put a five-point, ten-point book. So they said, you, Mr. White Guy Foreigner, if they get a hold of you, they'll put your head on the wall and, and have a party. <laughs> So that's where I lived for years and years. And I'd call dad and say, this is where we're going or this is where we've been. I mean, I don't know, a hundred times, you know. So that's why it's really serious, you know. And, uh, and uh, we'd, we'd be in places in Indonesia or India or Pakistan or whatever, Nigeria, I didn't mean, go to Cambodia, on and on, you name it. Uh, the Himalaya mountains up by Tibet and out that way. And, there's guys in the back of the church so, so angry that I'm there. Because what I'm saying is illegal in their nation. You can't talk about Jesus. It's a Hindu nation. It's a Muslim nation. And they're going to put me in jail in a minute in some places. Are you with me? Forget the water truck. Hello, are you with me? But they said the, the, but the, when you're really out in the bush, they're just waiting for this to get over so they can. They got machetes and clubs waiting for you. You see? I don't know how many times, but 100% of the time, all I did is do what the word says, preach the word and let the Holy Spirit do something. And 100% of the time, the grandma, the blind grandma got healed. The little crippled little old niece got healed, whatever. And then the same guys that wanted to kill you, they dropped their machetes and their clubs and they're back there crying and shaking it and saying, what is this? And I said, that's Jesus, and he's real, and he's alive. And the same guys that were gonna kill you, they came to the world. And I don't even know how many times. I, can't, I lost track. Right. Amen. 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 I got the video. I mean, the Bible says liars go to hell. I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm not joking, amen? Amen. amen. He says, God, Bob says, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus Christ, he says in Hebrews 13, verse 8, he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And, and uh, Malachi chapter 2 says, God does not change. The same things he did, he'll do it today. Amen. If we believe. Exactly. That's it. Amen. That's it. America needs it just like that. Amen. Amen. It's not just Amen. for Africa and uh, Papua New Guinea. And, and, and this is for here. We say, well, we got doctors, Brother Brad, and we got science, and we got brains and our smarts. Well, where did that get us? Hey? Amen. Dr. Phil says, Amen. how's that working for you? <laughs> right? Yeah. Alcoholism, divorce, suicide, all messed up, jacked up nation. Hey, Amen. Amen. We need help. We do. I've been to the first world, too. I've been to New Zealand and Australia and England and Germany. And, and, and America and Canada, and we need help too. Yep. This does not only work in Africa and India. This works in the first world if people believe. Yes. But the problem is, for, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get this. We all went to school here, and we were taught that that ain't real, or it happens in Africa, or it's for the ignorant people. If they, you know what I'm saying? Yes. That's called humanism. 
that's called, uh, you know, uh, uh, humanism and, and what do you call it, the postmodern, all that nonsense. If you went to college, it's worse. They said, that's no, that, don't, that don't work. And some of our so-called Christian denominations said, no, that, God don't do that no more. God retired 2,000 years ago. He don't, he, with the last apostle, he don't do that. Oh, really? Gee, thanks, God. You're going to tell me to go out to war with no gun and no bulletproof vest and no radio? You want me to go out there naked? Out there fighting? No, 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 no. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. I don't care what Baptist said and Presbyterian said and this one and that one and the Catholic said. No, no, no. The Bible said, the Bible said he does not change. He gives you a gun. He gives you a bulletproof vest. He gives you a radio. And you call in the air strike or whatever you need. God will not leave us out there without help. Amen. Amen. What are you talking about? What well, cancer comes along and drug, uh, kids on drugs, divorce problem, I don't know, pornography addiction. What's going on? All kind of stuff going on nowadays. You mean we're just under the devil's bondage? No. God give us the power and wisdom to get out. Amen. 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 And your friends and your cousins and your kids and your children that got these problems that no one's talking about. Amen. Amen. Why do I know? Because they call me all the time. Every week I'm talking to people in America, all over the world, all over the nation. They're calling me. This pastor, he went crazy. He's uh, he, he, he went over there to the whole house. He beat up his wife. He left his wife. We don't know what's going on. Why, oh, really? Well, his dad did it, and his brother did it, and his grandpa did it, and it's running down the family line, and only Jesus can break those things. Amen. 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 I used to drink and drink and drink and drink and drink and dad drink and papa drink. But we got saved in Jesus and it broke it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Otherwise, we can't break it. That's right. I threw out my dope and my alcohol, and three days later, I was back on it. Because you couldn't get off of it without the power of God. Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. Yes. <laughs> so hey, right. I'm serious. Yep. How are you going to get out, out of a, a demonic spiritual power without a greater Holy Ghost power? Exactly. In the name of Jesus. And that's a fact. You can't do it with your natural mind and your flesh. You've got to have, I mean, is there a, really a devil in hell? And is there really a Jesus in, in heaven or not? Yes. 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 And that's a fact. And they, they tell you, oh, that don't exist. Well, you know what? Nowadays, it does exist. All around you us. You go downtown, you'll see some real witches down there at the mall. All their demon tattoos and all their stuff and their black magic. It's, and it's out on the streets now. It didn't used to be that way when I was a kid. Amen. Right. That's on TV and it's no joke. It's come out of hiding now. And too many Christians have been low to sleep and don't know how to fight. The fight is on and they don't know if to... Look, look at 9-11. The Muslims were there planning that for years and years and years and years and years. And nobody was ready for it. Boom! And now all this other stuff that's going on. They said, hey, what's that? What's that? No, you just wasn't ready. They put you in a false security. But the, it was ready all the time. Amen. And that's how a lot of Christians are. They don't know what to do. Oh, here comes... Uh, uh, divorce, uh, insanity, uh, 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 addicted to pornography, on alcohol, on drugs, and this and that and the other, whatever, losing their mind. Look at the kids at the mall nowadays. The little old, the little old 13 year olds look like hell's angels, tattooed everywhere, and this and that. When I was a kid, that, that was for the, for the bikers. Right. Now the little old kids like that, 13, 14, what's going on? Yep. Our world's going crazy. And I'm sad to say that it's the church's fault. It is the church's fault for being asleep and not ready and not prepared. And that's it. Jesus said in Luke, while men were sleeping, the demon went out there at night and sowed weeds in the garden. Yep. If you're a farmer, you don't want weeds in your, in your, in your field. Amen? Amen. Amen. He said, the Lord sowed good seed in his thing. But when men slept, an enemy came along and put weeds out in the field. And in the church, the body of Christ in America and around the world, England, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, they've been asleep. They go to a dead service on Sunday, one out, oh yeah, hallelujah, but no one's really serious and no one's changed. Are you with me? Yes, amen. amen. Because I know these people talk to me secretly. They go to church. I mean, pastors call me from all over America. Hey, I'm struggling with porn. I'm, I'm, I'm suicidal. I'm on alcohol. I'm, I'm on dope. Pastors. And how are you going to, Amen. Amen. This is real. I'm afraid to tell somebody, uh-uh, well, let's break this thing. And it's from demon power. And you can only break it with the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And, Amen. Jesus, and that's Amen. it. And that's it. That's the ugly truth of where we're at. Like, you know, I've been out here, what, since 72. We got a riding calves at the junior rodeo. And then they got a little older and we was roping. 
and then I'm 12 years old, I'm, I'm dallying rope, and, and on and on and on. But I'll tell you what, and then, and then you know, whatever, I'll tell you, if you want to win, you got to practice. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you better have Amen. a good horse, and I'll tell you what, when everybody's going to the bar on Friday night, if you want to win, you better get out there and rope in the lead steer and practice and practice and get to bed early. Because the other guys that partied all night get up on Saturday, they're not going to be so good. But if you did the right thing on Friday night and didn't go out there and party, Praise and you God. practice and got to bed, you're going to yep. win on Saturday. Yep. And the guys in the hangover yeah. ain't going to win. Hello. Yeah. 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 And that's it. And that's it. It's just the same way in Christianity. That's true. You got to practice. You got to be dedicated. You got to be disciplined. You gotta tell your flesh, shut up, flesh, and get out there and read the Bible and pray and fast and get ready because why? Uh, so next year, six months from now, three years, cancer is gonna come along and attack one of your family members. Divorce is gonna come along. Something's gonna, drugs is gonna come along to one of your kids. So you better be ready for it. Amen. Amen. If you're not practiced up, you're not gonna do well. We don't practice praying. Amen. Are you are, are you with me? That's yes. the way it is. Hey, oh, I prayed God didn't answer. No, you weren't ready. Hello, God's always switched on. He is always, we don't plug into him because we're not ready and we haven't been taught. How do you get healings? How do you get people out of demon power and sin and, and, and suicide and all this mess? Do you know suicide's the highest uh, rate that's killing our kids in America right now? Did you yeah, know that? Man. Yes. Yeah, why? They need help. Yes. Why all the family, the divorce, the family destruction. What's going on? It's called hell is what it's called. The attack of hell on the foundation of society, the family. Amen. Amen. So Amen. how do we wake up? Well, you plug into Jesus. The Bible says he'll quicken you. He'll make you alive. He'll charge your cell phone. He'll give you a download, a, a new software upgrade. Hallelujah. In our, mind, in our soul, to be ready to fight, to be able to see what's going on. You can't be in the natural. Just be sick of it. Oh, how are you doing? You got to come up, and, and you got to be plugged into the Holy Spirit. When you see someone, he says, oh, they're struggling with depression right now. They're about to have a divorce. And you can get to help them. But you can't do it with the natural life. You gotta get plugged into Jesus. Born again. Amen. It ain't Catholic. I'm gonna do this. I'm, I'm gonna do this. Oh, it ain't, it ain't. No, 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 no. You gotta get in Jesus, man. Or Baptist, I'm going to Baptist church. Baptist. That's nice, but are you born again? Hello? Are you plugged in? Did you did you did you make a covenant with God? See, I give you all. Everything I have is yours. Everything you have is mine. I will obey you under death. Yes, sir. And that's it. Lord means boss. Hear me, boss? The biblical word for believe means I'll obey you under death if necessary. How many people do you know with that commitment? Not many. But when you give it that much, I, I, I went out there to die many times. So my wife, love you. I, I don't know if I see you, but I'm, I'm going. And he, he, boy, but you jump out there with no parachute, and he, every time he comes out there and, and, and gets you, he wanted to see, how serious are you? How, how are you really, really my servant? And you're going to risk your life? Let me see it. And, and you're going to, and you're going to, and you're going to, and he says, okay, thank you. I just wanted to see how it's committed. Are you with me? That's what he did to Abraham. You're going to sacrifice your son? Really? You let me? Prove it. He says, okay, I, I love you, Lord. I'm about to go out there. And he said, okay, I see that you're serious. Are you hearing me? Amen. That's what this is all about. But but no, we have not are you with me? We have not been taught to, to, to put that much out there, to give that much of a dedication and a commitment, you know? And in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, it says, You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me. The word witness means martyr. Nobody talks about that. What does that mean? I'm, what does the Navy SEALs and the Delta Force do? Well, they captured somebody over there. They're a hostage. I, they're, I'm not related to them. I don't even know them, but I'm going to risk my life to rescue that person. Why? Because I signed up for this. I like it. I, I don't even, you're not my relative. You're not my, but I'm going to risk my life to get there and, and rescue you and get you back to your family. That's what it's talking about. That's a real Christian. You ready to die? Let's go. I signed up for this. That's it. And nobody has taught that in America. And when, when you give it that much, God backs you up. Mark chapter 16, he said, Go into all the world, preach the gospel to every person. These signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, they will heal the sick, they will lay hands on the sick, they will recover. And it said the Lord worked with them and confirmed their word with signs and wonders and miracles following. But these people, they had 
they had been changed and they were dedicated, they were committed. They said, let's go. But this is war. Christianity is not some place, oh, I love you, I love you. No, it's war, my friend. Hello? The Amen. God of the Lord of hosts means the God of war, the weapons of our warfare. Fight as a good soldier for Jesus, Paul said. I have fought the good fight. What is all that? That's war talk. Amen? Amen. Uh, I know first of all people don't like this talk, but I'm telling you how to win. When cancer comes along knocking on your door, when divorce comes along, when sin and bondage and deception and, and temptation for alcohol and drugs and suicide comes, you will know how to win. And if you're not practiced up and you're not ready, you probably won't win. Your dad taught me how to rope properly. I mean, your hands are bleeding and whatever, you get, shut up and get, get on the other horse. This horse is tired, and get on the other one. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No excuse, what you doing? Boom, 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 boom. Like a, like a, like a, like a, like a Marines a drill sergeant. But I tell you what, you were ready to go when the rope came up. Practice, 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 do it right, do it right, do it right. Boom, boom, practice, 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 discipline, practice, practice, practice. And then you was ready. You can't, you, you can't untrain me from that. You know, it's there, it's there. So when you're ready to go, you're ready to go. Amen. If you run as much as you do, it's automatic. It's, it's unconscious. Muscle memory. Yes. Yeah. Hello? So what, what you got to do in Jesus is, is get up here and, and get your believing with no doubt and no unbelief and no fear. Okay, decrease the doubt. Decrease the unbelief. Decrease the double-mindedness. Decrease the fear. I'm not saying you're going to be perfect, but you've got to reduce it and start building up faith and believing. I believe. I believe. I, I do not. I believe. I don't care what I see. I believe. The Word says. I don't care what I see. I say, what does the Bible say? Hello? Amen. Amen. Yes or no? Yes. Is God lying or is he telling us the truth? Oh, no. Yes. yes. If you go after it like that, he says, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Cast out demons and the fame and the th it's deputized. He says, you know, in the old Western movie, they, they put the, yeah, you're a deputy. Let's go get them guys. Boom, you got authority. Let's go. That's what, that's what Jesus did to us. He says, I give you authority. Now let's go. You're deputized. Yeah. Amen. If you believe it. Yeah. The policeman gets out there, stop, the whole freeway will shut down. Why? There's authority. If you want to mess with him, he'll call the, the, the SWAT team. And you still act crazy, they'll call the National Guard. You still act crazy, they'll call the Air Force. You go to submit. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about heaven backing you up? Oh, heck yeah. Hey? Yeah. What about Jesus and heaven backing you up? You said, in the name of Jesus. What? In the spirit world, the demon seed, you got deputized, you got authority. See and you stand there. Uh, ambassador, the Bible says you're an ambassador for Jesus. Amen. That's equal authority. I'm represent. You go over there in another country. I'm the ambassador. I, I am the United States. Hello. I'm the United States. Hello. I am the arm of the Air Force Marines. Yeah. That's it. Well, you're just a. You don't know. You're not just a human. I got that behind me. So when he calls us an ambassador, did we ever think of what that means? What does it mean to be in Jesus? See, man, it's like this great, awesome thing that doesn't know how powerful it is. That is the body of Christ. And they're not exercising the authority that's available. And, and you, he said, if you believe and do not doubt, you shall have whatever you say. Well, I pray that it didn't happen when there's doubt. Then. Well, don't talk to me so hard, Brother Brett. Well, that's the fact. Yep. When I wasn't roping good, your father said, you're doing this. It's wrong. Change. I said, well, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> All right, doing my wrong way. <laughs> he said, no, well, you're not going to win. you got to do it like that. And hold your slack. Well, that's scary. Hold it till it burns and, psh, and you don't lose two feet. Well, I'm scared to hold my slack. <laughs> well, you're going to lose it. <laughs> Get off it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. It's a fact. Uh, uh, shh, shh, and you start winning. Amen? Amen. Oh, they're on their throw. They, oh, they jumped out. Oh, I don't know what happened. You just have bad luck. Bad luck. No, 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 no. It's because you didn't get ready. Amen? Amen. You got to do what's uncomfortable. You got to put yourself at risk. Amen? Amen. Amen. And it's not going to always be nice. But God, yeah. well, if you get out there and get it's shot not. or hurt or something, he'll clean you up. And, and, and amen. Amen. We, we love comfort too much in America. Oh, yeah. 
We don't like to be uncomfortable. We don't like to get, you know. And that's it. And God demands us to get out of the boat and walk in a storm on the water. Yes, Amen. Yes. That's where he is. He's in the storm. Yes. But we don't like that. I'm over here in my air conditioning and my carpet and my little thing. I'll give you three minutes, God. And, 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 and he doesn't show up and we wonder why. <laughs> but he wants a commitment on the death. And that's it. And I'm not going to lie to you. I learned this the hard way. Hallelujah. We all do. We all do. I've been kidnapped. My friends got murdered. They got their heads cut off. Whole families, my friends, been murdered and burned with gasoline over there in them countries. And they wanted me too, but I happened to be just barely out of the way. So, this is not a game. I come back to America again and again and again. I see there's a mosque over there. There's another mosque over there. Oh, I see some more MS-13 gang over there. I see some stuff going on. <laughs> there's people that hate America. Oh yeah. They hate Israel. They hate America. They hate Jesus. They hate Christianity. This nation sent more missionaries than anybody in, in, in history. We're Israel's good close friend. Of course China wants to kill us. Of course the Muslim nations want to kill us. And guess who's the American icon, by the way? The cowboy. John Wayne, the cowboy, the tough. I can do it. I'm not a socialist. I'm not a communist. Thank you very much. I, I can do this. I'm not a some European junk communist crap. I, hallelujah! And they're intimidated by you. I've been over there. Oh, American. Oh, yeah. Da, 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 you know, da, da. Whatever. Oh, you cowboy, you da-da-da-da-da. I said, well, I'm glad there's some, you better be glad there's, there's some there's some cameras in this airport. I'll knock you out. <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> they want, hey, I'm not joking. I'm not going to lie to you. The Muslims, they, they want to take over and do some bombings in just a minute. And China would love to take over this nation. And there's a lot of stuff out there. If you don't know that, you better get informed and get online or something. And you know what? The only thing that's going to save this nation is people waking up, waking up, waking up, waking up, and learning how to pray and bind the devil and get out there and preach the gospel and seek and save the lost. Get the gang members saved and all this other stuff and get the communists either saved or get their sorry butts out of government and stuff like that. How are you with me? Oh, yeah. Amen. Hello. I'm not playing. You know what? You see like this here? There's a, there's a group of preachers about to come up that are like me. They're out there saying, well, praise the Lord, with this love, and hallelujah. No, no, no! <laughs> this is, it's, it's too late for that. That didn't work. Exactly. That has not worked for 80 exactly. years. It's time to jump up there. And the Bible says you're supposed to be a soldier. You're supposed to stand between the, the plague and, 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 and the living. You're supposed to get up there and, and, and are, you, are you with me? 1776. Amen. Hello? Yes. You better jump up there and, 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 and fight. With the name of Jesus, with the power of God, with the power of the Holy Ghost. That's it. I got what, the worst part of first. I got, I got so many gang members saved. But you got to be real. You got to be real. They don't like religion and dead and mess, castrated. You know, in the Bible, there was Elijah, and he was dealing with the, the, the Jezebel and the prophets of Baal. It said Jezebel's army were castrated. It says they was eunuchs. That means their 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 testicles was cut off. You know why you can hurt a steer so easy? He's castrated. You go, and he'll run. He's castrated. You do that to a bull and see what happens. <laughs> he stands his ground and says, yo, really? You got a problem? Yeah. But the steer don't do that. So in the Bible, in the Kings, it says the, the kingdom of Baal and Ashtoreth and Jezebel, who Elijah was trying to destroy that and get Israel out of that influence, Elijah going to get him out of that influence. It says Jezebel's leaders were castrated. Read that in 1 Kings chapter 18. What does that mean? You got no strength. Mm -hmm. You got no strength. You can't multiply. You can't stand your ground. And there's so many Christians that are castrated. Mm -hmm. Easily scared. Not standing their ground. Not a soldier. Not a warrior. And the devil is taking over our country. In the, in the schools, they're teaching little old kids homosexual junk and witchcraft. And they're four years old in, I mean, fourth grade. What is this? Transgender, what, what? You wanna teach my kids that? Really? No, we're gonna fight. Hey, we're Okies. Hey, boy, back in the day, hey? I don't know, when I was a little kid, there was 500 Hells Angel bikes up and down the street over there, and the Cowboys and the, and the bikers used to fight. And, the, and Gina Pashoni, the sheriff, let him fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
yeah. Our nation has become so oh, yeah. politically correct. Calm down. We got to be warriors again. I'm with you. They, 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 oh, let's love, let's love. No, 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 no. Yes, but Bible says also to be a warrior. Yeah. And this has been left out. This warrior thing, this strong, this king thing has been left out. Nobody's talking like that. Oh, let's just love, brother. Let's love the, let's love the, the demons, brother Brad. No, no, they're going to kill your, your kids if you don't wake up. Amen. What you gonna do when cancer hits grandma? What do you got? Have you been practicing? Have you been ready? Have you been building up your faith? In the power of the name of Jesus? In, in the Holy Ghost and fire? In the word of God? Can you memorize healing scriptures? What's gonna come out of your mouth of life and death? You know, when your kid gets captured by drugs or something. Are you ready to fight and win? Yes. And that's it. And you gotta get built up in the Bible and prayer and fasting and get some stuff cleaned out. I go for prayer twice a year to get stuff cleaned out of my soul from the olden days. It's still kind of there a little bit once in a while. <laughs> Are you hearing For everybody. I ain't lying. And that's it. And I don't care, by the way. I love you, but I don't care what you think. I, 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 I'm, 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 you know, real Christianity is like a doctor, like a fire. But when he goes in the hotel's on fire, there's people in the hotel, he don't care. He just says, get out, get out, get out. Oh, you fell down, well, bless your heart. Get out, let's go. Well, yeah, the fireman hurt my knee. <laughs> well, you're out of the burning building. And that's it. I'm, I'm saving lives. I'm not playing this. God, why? People are going to call me to, probably tonight. You know, hey, I'm suicidal. My kid's on drugs. This one's got cancer. This one's going to, this one's, hit. this one's dying. This is no joke. They hide everything from you here. You don't see no demon possessed mental patients walking around like India on the street. You don't see no dead bodies with maggots and flies like I see over there in all, uh, every day in Pakistan. You, 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 you think life, and it's not okay. You, you, you think life is Disneyland in the mall. Oh, isn't this nice? Look at, no, 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 no. There is a devil, there is a hell, and he hates you and wants to kill you. Everything else, steal, kill, and destroy. And we've got to be a warrior and wake up and fight. And the only way you can get woke up and, and quickened and made alive, you've got to get born again in Jesus Christ. It means I give you my life. You're my only, only, only God. You're my only God. That's it. And I give you my life. And fill me with your power and your Holy Spirit. I'm going to get filled up with the Bible all the time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no to sin. I ain't going to be drinking alcohol and smoking and cussing and looking at sex and mess. If you get married, hallelujah, and stay married. That's it. This is serious, man. You can't be in sin and tell the devil to get out. He'll laugh at you. You gotta have a clean vessel, and then God can only flow through a clean vessel, and he'll 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 kick the hell out of hell. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. I'm not joking. But you can't be, oh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in sin, I'm in sin, I'm in it. Okay, 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 in the name of Jesus. In the, no, oh, no, no. You, you've got to discipline yourself to live a clean life. Narrow is the way that leads to life. And few there be that find it. Broad is the way that go to destruction. And many there be on that broad way. Again, it's discipline. Well, I don't feel like practicing. I don't feel like saying no to cigarettes and alcohol and sin and temptation and fornication and cussing and angry and unforgiveness. You gotta forgive people. You gotta forgive people. You gotta forgive people. You gotta forgive people. You gotta forgive yourself. Hallelujah. You can't sit there with guilt against yourself. Yeah. Whenever I see somebody heal the cancer, they, they chose to forgive them. Everybody and God and themselves, and they got healed of cancer. When I see him not choose to forgive, I see him die. That's it. Amen. Amen. You, you put the pieces in line, and it'll work. But you've got to, to do what the Bible says. And that's it. And so, you, 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 <laughs> if you get in Jesus, then he can fill you with the Holy Spirit and his power, his life his mind of Christ, and you will be quickened, you will be made alive, and you will be awake, and now you could go out there and start changing and waking up other people, because our nation is in trouble. Our nation is in trouble, you know? And if people are still, uh, 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 look at the politicians, oh, if I pay you enough money, and, and you, I give you enough hookers, and, and, you, and pay you off, and alcohol and drugs, you, you'll do what I say. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Why do I know this? Because my, my friends tell me, my law FBI friends, oh Ken, in different ones. This is what's going on. And I talk to people in government. They said, this is what's going on. If I give you, you know, 10 million and, and some expensive call girls and drugs and alcohol, you'll, you'll do what I want you to do. China, Russia, uh, Muslim uh, uh, lobbyists. Uh, is this too much for you? You want me to shut up and leave? This is real. This is going on. 
So, if you're dead, you're not going to do the right thing. But when you're awake, you're in Jesus, you'll say no. You like, anybody like Trey Gowdy? Here you go, Trey Gowdy, over there. He, what's he doing? He's, he's saying no. He's sitting up there saying no. You're going to have some politicians with righteousness and, and, and a backbone, and, and you're going to do right. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's it. You can't be, so that, so you too have the same thing. When you're awake, you're going to say, no, I'm going to do the right thing. Oh, wow, I have power from Jesus and power from the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to do the right thing. And you'll start changing people. And that's it. And I'm going to shut down in 30 seconds. But I'm just saying, that's what the problem is. we got to be awake. we got to be quickened and made alive. Why? And then we can do what we need to do. We can practice and practice and practice and be ready when the test comes to win. Amen. 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 But it takes dedication and, 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 and practice. The practice is building up to agree with God. When I'm in agreement with God, we can work together. If I have doubt and unbelief, and, and, and you know, well, my denomination says this. Well, my church says that. I don't care what they say. What does the Bible say? You know what? We know what's true. What works? If what you believe doesn't work, it's not true. <laughs> Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. God is the God of truth. When you speak the truth, you believe the truth, he will come and back you up. Amen. But if you believe something wrong, well, my church says this, and my church says, we're the third church on the corner. Well, I don't care. If it's not working, change it and believe the Bible. Amen. And that's it. And the more people that do this, we can save our nation and, 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 and save our families. Hey, and what are we leaving for our kids and grandkids, by the way? Huh? Witches? Gays and witches teaching them in school? Teaching them witchcraft and, and all kind of perversion? Is that what we're leaving for our kids and grandkids? No. Yep. Huh? A bunch of debt? A bunch of myths? Now if we get out there and change it, we're going to leave a better thing for our kids. But we got to soldier up and do it. And that's it. Well, bro, I got to go, I got to go to the mall. I got to go do this and that and that. Well, okay, then let the place go to hell. But if we get real and get serious and get out there and do it, and then God backs you up, you know, it says he will add to our effort. Wow, what can that happen? I'm doing my best, God likes it, and he said, Poof. when I see my little old child trying to move the chair or something, and I just jump up there and say, amen. amen. And that's what God's gonna do when you do your best and save our nation. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray you touch people, you fill them with the Holy Spirit and fire and wisdom, and these people will become light and salt and vessels of change, and represent you with unlimited way in the name of Jesus. Now, if you're here and you don't know if you're going to go to heaven if you died, you got to accept Jesus. He's the only way. It's not Hinduism and Mohammedism and, and Islam and witchcraft and money and, and, and sex and drugs and rock and roll. It is Jesus. It's the only way you're going to get peace. Jesus is the Son of God, born of a virgin. He died for our sins on the cross, and he raised up from the dead. And you said, look, Jesus, I believe in you to save me. I give you my life. I will obey you. I'll be your faithful soldier and friend. And, I, and help me out, Jesus. Work with me. Come in my heart. Save me. Change me. If you mean that in your heart, God will save you, and you go to heaven. And, but, but better than that, he's going to change you right now. He's going to start helping you. You're going to get the, his benefits and his blessings, his kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. He'll start protecting your kids and your family, your money, your peace, your finances, your marriage. He'll save your family. It's going to start now. It ain't only for heaven. It starts now. You ask Jesus to, 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 to whatever, save you and control in your life, and, and he'll do it. And uh, you got to meet it. And ask him to fill you with the Holy Spirit and teach you his ways and his, his power. Get in there and read that Bible. See what's available. And he'll do it. Amen. Amen. That's it. Amen. Amen. He'll do it. Thank you, Brad. <laughs>